I think that the new curriculum really allows uh, a mirror of your future career because someday we'll be seeing a patient, we'll, there'll be no multiple choice, there'll be no right answer, there'll just be symptoms and there'll be things that they tell you and things that they don't tell you and you're going to have to synthesize that information. Our students start off with some basics of medicine, anatomy, biochemistry, genetics, and then work their way through various systems to give them a full understanding of both health and disease. In your first year, you get a very basic understanding of all the concepts. So, for example, we do biochemistry. But with the biochemistry, you're not getting the simple, only the pathways. So we basically start from microanatomy and anatomy and work up. Of course, you need the anatomy basis, and then you move through physiology, which helps you to later understand the pharmacology, which you'll get mixed in with pathology. The organ-specific curriculum allows me to integrate with the material that has come right before and will come right after. The way the organ system courses work now, it allows you to develop a greater depth of knowledge in, a, in your field. One of the things I really like about the systems approach is that everything's, everything's together. This allows me to draw connections between things. The curriculum was one of the reasons why I actually decided to come to the University of Kentucky because I'm more of a very generalized kind of person. I like to see so many things that relate to a specific topic for me to understand it better. They like to give us like a big overview of how the system works. These are the steps, this is what's going on. And then they kind of break off from there. This is what can go wrong here, and that's a disease process. This can, break, this can go wrong here, that's a disease process. With our curriculum change, all of our courses have both a basic scientist and a clinician as directing each of the courses. This enables us to have a very integrative approach to medicine. You have the clinicians come in and so you're able to see this is a pathway we're learning and this is how you're going to apply it in clinic. This is how you're going to see it in clinic. We're starting to integrate a lot of different disciplines together really early, which is a really nice thing to see. It's starting to make the disease processes really pop out. It's really teaching us how to be problem solvers in the real world. It, it just makes, you know, the, both the clinical and science material, it makes it come together, you know, that much more, uh, more fluently. With this integration, we have also begun a clinical reasoning curriculum early within medical school. So as students work through each of the organ systems, they also learn the approach to both health and disease. Our Introduction to Clinical Medicine course has all the students work through specific cases so that they understand the implications for all of the science that they are learning. We get to have the Introduction to Clinical Medicine class alongside all our audit classes. And I like that because it doesn't let us just stick to the basic sciences or the research aspects of medicine. Um, it lets us be exposed to what we're actually going to be doing in the future. Within the curriculum, we also emphasize the early introduction of clinical skills. Within our Introduction to Clinical Medicine courses within the first year and second year, students are involved from day one with interviewing standardized patients and learning those essential skills and then building on those to develop physical examination skills and even ultrasound skills so they understand the uh, use of ultrasound within the clinical setting. I think the ultrasound workshops have really added a great value uh, to our education uh, as a medical student because uh, ultrasound is something that's going to be a, a very common, very helpful tool that we can perform right there in the doctor's office. The main uh, thrust of the ICM course is trying to build uh, young diagnosticians. One of the things that I've really liked about ICM is developing physical exam skills and they've done a fantastic job of teaching them here. For clinical reasoning being introduced as early as it is, is wonderful and we have it in an organ system set up so as we're learning pathology and we have clinicians come into our regular class but you really hammer it out in ICM. I think it's really, really neat that we don't have to wait till third year to get patient experiences. In the third year, our students enter the clinical clerkships. In our clinical clerkships, we emphasize not only the foundations of medicine, but also some of the newer competencies of medicine. Students will learn about patient safety, um, evidence-based medicine, and the social implications of health. Finally, in our fourth year of medical school, as students decide upon their career paths, they can craft a curriculum that is to their greatest advantage. In our fourth year, we use simulation um, as well as standardized patients to ensure that all students have the skills that are necessary to succeed as interns. I've really enjoyed all of our experiences with standardized patients. They are such a great resource for us to practice how we speak to patients, how we interact. 
So having someone give you immediate feedback is pretty great. And they give you the CDs to watch if you want to watch too, so you can kind of analyze yourself. With this new curriculum, we have all had to re-examine what is being taught, what perhaps isn't being taught, what could be connected better for the student learner. The best part of this curriculum is it gives you a very well-rounded view of the subjects that you're learning. As you can see, here at the University of Kentucky, we've made a lot of changes to our curriculum. Our goal is to create the best physicians for tomorrow, and ultimately to provide the best care for the patients of the Commonwealth of Kentucky and beyond. So we invite you to see blue.